Nate's the one who stumbled the most throughout the competition, but there's no doubt he's a good tattooer. There's no doubt he has the experience, which should make him an intimidating player. So what has been your strategy coming into this game? Early on, I mean, my plan was to kind of hang back, see what was happening. In my heart, I know I can get to this certain point, you know, without trying to jump through a bunch of hoops or anything. Yeah. I mean, was I trying to do bad tattoos? No. The biggest problem for me here is just timing. Concepts that I have, I usually do a lot of thinking before I actually come up with a rendering for a tattoo. Does knowing that you're going to be up against a time limit play a part of that? Yeah, a huge part of it. For me, it's more like I'd rather get something on there that I feel is good and solid in the time limit than to not finish a piece. I don't know if that was bad on my part, but You're I mean- You're top six, man. Yeah, I mean, it worked. It's working out. As long as I can step it up and keep it going. How's that feel, being away from your home for a long time in a pressure cooker competition? It's mentally taxing. When yeah. you're used to waking up and like, see my kids, you know, daddy, daddy. Wake up here and it's and like And your time boot starts camp. now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the longer being here and everything, the more difficult it is to focus. A lot of sleepless nights of just wondering like, what the hell's next, you know? You are by far the most experienced tattooer in the whole house. Is that an advantage? There's way more factors involved than just tattooing alone. Hourglass with a skull in it. And I want a little family tree motor for a motorcycle. I'm a cabinet installer, so I want some kind of tools. I want a skull, and it's got an American flag on it. Nate. Thanks a lot, guys. You know, you got this canvas that's damn near impossible to do a good tattoo on, and it puts an added level of stress. In your own shops, you can refuse to work on anybody. Here, you're It's like playing Russian roulette, and then like the girl alliance thing that kind of offsets everything. It's obvious the girl's got favor on this one, and it's such bull Kevin can play however he wants. He won the flash challenge. He wants to be tight with the two top players so he can last a little Wouldn't bit longer. Would you do the same thing? No. Is their alliance working? I feel like it's working. I mean, they're definitely shooting to have an all-girl finale. But what's interesting is that they're eventually going to have to fight against each other. There can only be one winner. Don't worry about that when they're the last one standing, I'm sure. Hey, YouTube. It's Chris Nunez. Don't forget to subscribe to Spike's channel.